Ben, you've got not one, not two, but three strikes. You're out! That's what I call a positive test result. Your next choice, one of the most hideous, vile, repulsive creatures to appear in decades. A disgusting intrusion on our everyday lives. I'm talking, of course, about that little Pokemon, Pikachu. <laughs> Let's see you evolve out of this, Pikachu. Fire! We've reached the point we've all been waiting for. Having tabulated our vigilant viewers' votes from across the country, your most requested chicken cannon target of 1999, the one we've all had enough of. Audience, give me a Y. Y. Give me a 2. two. Give me a K. K. What have you got? Y. Y. Two. Ammunition, in honor of the Millennium Bug, a handful of bugs. Some uh, microchips and dip. Since everyone is stocking up on food for midnight tonight, a can of Scarios. And some donuts filled with Y2KY jelly. Because this whole situation has driven us all nuts, a pound of nutty peanut butter. And to top it off, 2,000 flushes. And when you are ready, Tara Baxter from Burden, Manitoba, one of many who suggested our chicken cannon target of 99. Tara will receive the Air Force Video Yearbook, Volume 6, The Chicken Cannon, blasting us into the next millennium. Memories of 99 November. Good evening, fellow Albertans. I am leading this province in a bold new direction. <laughs> At the array, we know Canadian communities. Our 3,000 employees live and work all across Canada. Good afternoon. Are proud to provide quality service to some 450 of these communities every day, every week, all year long. The guy spills a little wine on the couch, panics and dumps it here. And then he swings by Leon's to pick up that pretty little thing he's had his eye on all week. Motive? An opportunity. Leon's Boxing Day sale is going strong, with huge savings on Canada's most wanted furnishings, like this leather sofa for just $7.99, or this 32-inch TV withstand for only $9.99, and big travel discounts, too. Plus, you don't pay until 2001. Whoever did this is going to pay, not for a whole year. Video games don't just blast through your batteries. They blast through your money. That's why you should arm yours with new Rayovac Maximum Alkaline. They pack the same long-lasting power, but cost less, so you can buy more games. How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? Get the Maximum. New Rayovac Maximum. This cabin isn't big enough for the three of us. Sunday night on CBC. Glad you saw reason. <laughs> 
You haven't told her? Probably best. Renovating an old shack on the ranch becomes a major task. You're trying to scare us off with a ghost story? On a special night of nothing too good for a cowboy. You live in this world long enough, you see lots of things with no explanation. The spirit world becomes a force to be reckoned with. I'll drive with that mean old boogeyman. Confronting the unknown on nothing too good for a cowboy, Sunday night at 7 on CBC. Long flight, eh? Oh, I always fly Air Canada on these long hauls. <clears throat> Good airline. Sure glad that Onyx merger didn't go through. Whew. Never could have worked. Never. You know what they say? Two airlines that don't serve the needs of the public are better than one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure out what that Onyx CEO Jerry Schwartz was thinking. Man. Who'd fly an airline called Air Schwartz? <laughs> or Jerry Air? <laughs> What do you think about that Jerry Schwartz guy? I think I'd like to read my newspaper. Hey, I recognize you. You're, you're, uh, you're, uh... Jerry Schwartz. No, 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 the guy from hockey, Ron McLean. Actually, I'm Jerry Schwartz. Right, 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 so, uh... What's Don Cherry really like? I don't know. Understand it. I'm Jerry Schwartz. Are you Jerry Schwartz? Yes. <laughs> hey, pleasure to meet you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, Jer, level with me. Uh, if the Air Canada and Canadian merger went through, what were you going to call a new airline? I was leaning towards Jerry's most excellent airline. <laughs> so... What are you up to now? Have you got any new uh, mergers on the old uh, drawn board there? I'm hoping to merge LensCrafters with the Ottawa Senators. <laughs> and get a hockey team that's for sale in about an hour. I just thought of something. Air Canada is now merging with Canadian, which is exactly what you wanted to do in the first place. <laughs> that's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> No. You know, Jer, uh, I got a lot of ideas myself. Maybe we can have lunch sometime, make it a weekly thing. I can give you tips on how to run that Onyx company of yours. Excuse me. Sure, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to look for another seat. <laughs> Mind if I uh, sit here? I still say you look like Ron McLean. <laughs> Where's Sergeant McCormick? I need our best detective. She's on a special assignment. Oh, here she comes now, boss. Okay. McCormick, you are the last person I expected to perpetuate the cop donut myth. <laughs> right, Detective Collander? Oh. Right. So, what's the case? I want you to find out who's responsible for the death of Eaton's department store. Right. How do I do that? You're the detective. You figure it out. Inspector, you gotta lighten up. You gotta relax a little, learn how to laugh at life like I do. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, take Savalas with you. Where is Savalas? Still at his handsome lesson, sir. <laughs> take Colander. So where do we go first? I have a pretty good idea. On second thought, maybe not. McCormick, we combed Vancouver, Victoria, and came up with a suspect on that case you're working on. I want you to conduct the interrogation. Oh, do I have to, sir? I'm doing smile therapy class. <laughs> okay. All right. You 
you despicable lowlife. What's your name? I'm Glenn Clark. I used to be Premier of British Columbia. <laughs> a likely story. I've met a lot of vermin on this job, you know, but you, you take the cake. McCormick, we don't have any cake, but I'd be happy to run up for more donuts. <laughs> I assure you, I'm innocent of all charges, even the ones you haven't found out about. <laughs> Mr. Clark, we've just received information that you own a bay card. <laughs> Is it true you never liked shopping at Eaton's? McCormick, do you mind? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, just... I thought I'd practice my piano while I'm not in the scene, sir. Never mind, McCormick. Word has just come down from the highest source that the Eaton's case is closed. We've been shut down by the province. A higher source. The federal government? Higher. You mean... That's right. Sears. <laughs> Damn it, we were so close. Oh, well... Party over at Country Style, the uh, crullers are on me. Air Force flashback, October. The courts have ruled that native rights to fish apply to timberland as well. well Non-native fishermen have said, okay, they can go into the forest at any time of the year and catch all the lobster they can find. <laughs> said for clarity in life and in finances clarica investment and insurance solutions Harbor Grace is known as the shoemaking capital of Newfoundland. I'm the general manager of Terra Footwear. We sell 20,000 pair a year of safety boots to Walmart. Yeah! We cut all our leather by hand because cows don't come square. This is a tongue. From punk to grunge, safety never goes out of fashion. We use the best leather, the best eyelets, the best laces that we can get. Presto! Walmart wanted a quality boot and we make a quality boot. Tough people make tough boots. <laughs> It's a big world, but there's someone little who sees it just like you do. Stuart Little. Not your pet. Please, please, please. Please. Now playing in theaters everywhere. can move and fall naturally back into shape, so why can't hair? My new European hairspray is the only one with a unique Euroflex holding system. Some hairsprays have a stiff bond that breaks when hair moves, but Euroflex is just better. It gives more elasticity without stickiness. Your hair falls back into a natural soft look. Hair that bounces back. New Alberto European hairspray with Euroflex. Flexible hold for your hair. CBC welcomes in the new year with the return of a timeless classic. It's not what the world holds for you, it's what you bring to it. Join us for Anne of Green Gables, the sequel. A two-part special begins Sunday night at 8 on CBC. It's doubleheader hockey at 6.30 Eastern. It's Labatt Saturday night. The Leafs rock the new millennium as they face off with the Sabres. Then Edmonton goes head-to-head -head with Phoenix. The one and only hockey night in Canada on CBC Saturday.
Okay, like I just had some more thoughts. New Year's Eve is a very special time. Well, I guess it's not that special because we already had 2,000 of them. <laughs> but like, it's not like every day you get to celebrate the new year. Well, if it was, we'd be a heck of a lot older than we are. <laughs> anyway, some people are afraid of the new year, but you really shouldn't let the millennium bug you. <laughs> sure, the future is unknown, but that's only because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> like Grandma from Canmore used to say, there are two important things to remember. One, nobody is keeping count. And two, well, I forget what two is, but it's got something to do with not putting your tongue on a metal fence, especially if you're naked. <laughs> at large with Gilbert Smythe Bite Me. Ah, oh, my wit is so trenchant it's frightening. <laughs> well, here we are at the end of another millennium and not a moment too soon. Tonight I present for the first time ever the Bite Me Achievement Awards of the Millennium. <laughs> the first Bite Me is for play of millennium. I chose Taming of the Shrew. If you want to see a play about a mouthy, nagging, bitter, shrill harridan, this is the one for you. <laughs> or you could just date one of my three ex-wives. <laughs> Musician of the millennium. Well, it came down to two. Ludwig von Beethoven and Barry Manilow. <laughs> Ludwig, it is not you. <laughs> Opera of the millennium. Yeah, like there's ever been a good one. <laughs> Biggest artistic travesty of the millennium, the women's television <laughs> network. Since when is a pathetic collection of untalented non-males wallowing in an estrogen-sodden environment capable of producing nothing more than endless complaints about men considered an achievement? And I'm not just saying that because my ex-wives are all high-ranking executives there. <laughs> Canadian filmmaker of the millennium. Well, I'm forced to be honest with this one. We are working from a very limited gene pool. <laughs> Certainly, the most overhyped non-talent from this pool is David Cronenberg. What the hell was that naked lunch film about? <laughs> It was 115 minutes of complete and utter claptrap. It had to be the worst piece of silver screen self-indulgence. If you don't count his other efforts, Crash, Dead Ringers, and Videodrome. All of Cronenberg's films have been commercial successes, and yet he calls himself a Canadian? <laughs> the only reason this man makes films in Canada is because of the free health care. And his latest pathetic contribution to film, Existenz, is his worst effort to date. Where did I put that crummy video? I know it's here somewhere. Were you looking for this? <laughs> David Cronenberg! Is it really you? In flesh and blood. Oh, <laughs> he stilled my heart. What a thrill. I cannot tell you what an honor it is to have a brilliant director like yourself here. <laughs> Don't give me that, you suck-up artist. <laughs> <clears throat> well, your movies have been called sick, perverse, cinematic psychotrash with a disturbing view of reality. Yes, but I've also had some bad reviews. <laughs> Is there any single thing that scares you? The fact that you have a career. <laughs> So, uh, what's next for you? I'm doing a follow-up to my earlier film, Naked Lunch. Mm -hmm. Now, that is the film that featured a, a typewriter that turned into a giant beetle that looked like a talking rear end. <laughs> what are you calling it? My Dinner with Gilbert. <laughs> Who would want to see that kind of junk? I've already sold it to the Women's Television Network. <laughs> I'm also working on a new cereal. A cereal? What kind? Science fiction? Adventure? Breakfast. <laughs> I call it... Big Hairy Thing. One bowlful contains the total daily requirements of niacin, riboflavin, 
and hair. Sounds delicious. And it comes with a nice slime coating. Mm. Careful one. Mm. Oh. And, and, and that is all for critic at large. I'm Gilbert Smythe. Bite me. Mm. Air Force Memories of 99 August. Uh, looks like a one liter pop bottle. And on top of it, 12 to 14 Chinese migrants. Traveling by train is the truly civilized way to do business. Fine-tune an important presentation. Stay in touch with the office. Or relax and restore your soul. For those who value their time, there's only one way to arrive. Ready for business. Spills a little wine on the couch, panics and dumps it here. And then he swings by Leon's to pick up that pretty little thing he's had his eye on all week. Motive? An opportunity. Leon's Boxing Day sale is going strong with huge savings on Canada's most wanted furnishings like this leather sofa for just $7.99 or this 32-inch TV withstand for only $9.99 and big travel discounts too. Plus, you don't pay until 2001. Whoever did this is going to pay, not for a whole year. For most of our guests, winter is probably more active than summer. Think about it. Just outside your window, there's so much more to discover. There's skiing, skating, snowmobiling, tubing and tobogganing, and even dog sweat. An Ontario resort is also the perfect spot for another very popular winter activity, hibernating. What's important is that they name you premiere next week. An all-new movie. There's someone inside! A deadly fire. Your brother is getting desperate. You're under investigation for a murder. Well, I didn't do it. Then start telling the truth. A burning question. Have you seen this document before? This is a waste of my time. What is it? Peter was there. Upholding the law. We're either working together or not. Protecting a family. We're on the same side. Trust me. I don't even know who you are anymore. Trial by Fire. A North of 60 mystery. January 16th on CBC. 1999, Year of the Farce, is brought to you in part by Via Rail Canada, people moving people, and by Pontiac. Pontiac, built for drivers. There you go, my trouts. I'm Jeannie Becker. <laughs> Host of fashion television. I know all about fashions like this elegant slicker that I'm modeling from Muldoon's of Corner Brook. <laughs> I've been all over the fashion world from St. John's all the way to Joe Bass Park. As I was saying, I'm not Jeannie Becker. This is the real Jeannie Becker, star of fashion TV. Thank you, Seamus. Uh, Seamus is our expert on fish fashion. <laughs> From New York to Paris, London to Milan, designers present a steady stream of avant-garde haute couture creations worn by jet setters and the diplomatic elite. 
I'm in Rideau Hall, home to one of Canada's most elite diplomats, Governor General Adrian Clarkson. How do you do, Ms. Becker, and welcome to my mansion. Nice spread you have. Really? I've been trying to exercise. <laughs> And you're somewhat of a designer yourself. Would you care to show us some of your creations? If you insist. <laughs> My first creation is an elegant evening gown that I designed for the National Press Club's annual dinner. <laughs> Looks like a bathrobe. It's Clarkson Couture. <laughs> Try it on. Oh, no thanks. I'm, I'm allergic to terry cloth. Well, let me show you some more examples from the fabulous Adrian Clarkson collection. These are still in the design stage. This is a stunning crab meat sweater. <laughs> I, I love the way you've uh, complimented it with that cabbage leaf skirt. <laughs> oh, and I have a line of sexy lingerie. I call it Adrian's Secret. Oh, well, let's just keep it that way. <laughs> And what Governor General would not be proud attending the Order of Canada Awards wearing this? A gorgeous pantsuit made from chicken beaks. <laughs> I have got dozens of designs. I'm sure you do, but fortunately, we're out of time. Well, if your viewers want to see more of the Clarkson collection, they can check out my website. Yes, it's at www.godawful.com. <laughs> Come on, Jean, try on the robe and make such a fashion statement. And the statement is, uh, help. <laughs> For fashion television, I'm Judy Becker. From the 2000 Today headquarters, here is Peter Mansbridge. Good evening. We're in the midst of our year 2000 worldwide celebrations. The millennium is still a few hours away from our time zone, but in Britain, they've already passed midnight. We go there live to BBC correspondent Nigel Hoffel Stoat, who has a late breaking story. Hello. We have just received information from the Greenwich Observatory that the Gregorian calendar, which we have been using since 1582, is inaccurate to the tune of 23 seconds a year. Apparently, the millennium started last Tuesday. <laughs> uh, apparently, we've been waiting a thousand years for this millennium, and we missed it. We might as well all go home. I'm Peter Mansbridge. Good night. Happy New Year! 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 Happy 2000! Happy Nude Year! From all corners of the earth, a spectacular New Year's Eve celebration. 26 hours of live coverage with host Peter Mansbridge. 2000 Today is next on CBC. Now, don't go away. Air farce may be over, but 2000 Today sure isn't. The rest of the world has welcomed the new millennium. Now it's reaching our shores. Over there, the counting is done. Midnight has come and gone. The new millennium is a reality on most of planet Earth. The new year has been heralded across Asia and Africa, the Middle East and Europe. And now, Canada's countdown. Through 10 provinces, Three territories, six time zones, and 31 million people, we are ready for a night to remember. This is 2000 Today. From the 
Canadian Broadcasting Center. Here is Peter Mansbridge. And good evening. What a day it's been. What a night it's about to be. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. To those of you who've been with us throughout this day of ongoing New Year's Eve world coverage, welcome back. To those of you just joining our broadcast, thank you for including us in your celebrations tonight. For the next six hours or so, we'll take you across this country to first night ceremonies in all six of our time zones. We'll feature concert performances by some of Canada's biggest stars. We'll also look southward and drop into the huge ongoing New Year's Eve party that's unfolding in locations stretching from <laughs> Times Square in New York City to Rio, to Mexico City, to Las Vegas and beyond. And we'll keep an eye on our own get-together, which will be taking shape here in the atrium of the Broadcast Centre over the next hour or two. To help with party duties tonight are three of Canada's most loved comedians, who many of you just watched on their own New Year's Eve special, Year of the Farce, Don Ferguson, Lou Bagoy, and Roger Abbott. Hey, it's great for you to be here. Oh. Well, Hi, Peter. we wouldn't have missed it. I've been actually, I set my alarm for midnight Kiribati time. So since 4.30 this morning, seriously, Come I've, been, really? I've been watching. Been watching I've been watching. All? It's great. It's actually a tremendous broadcast. It is. It's I've, I've amazing. Been, it is. It's I've amazing. been crying all day. <laughs> Honestly, when those kids were singing uh, Oh, Danny Boy in Ireland, it's just the whole thing is so great. It would be even worse when the Ukrainian New Year's comes in two weeks. Uh, it's really it's really a two-week party, right through here, <laughs> right through to the Ukrainian New right. Year's. Now, listen, I would have thought after you guys worked so hard through this day and getting ready and that wonderful special, which, you know, I caught a glimpse of it while I was changing. We had fabulous guests. <laughs> a guy who looked very much like yeah. you. <laughs> but I, I never would have thought you'd had time to come and do this as well. Well, actually, the opportunity to be here is uh, wonderful. It answers the old, the age-old question about uh, what are you going to do on New Year's Eve? What's your gig? This is, right. Entertainers always get asked. Well, this is it. And if it's work... I think it's perfect. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> think of it, Peter. We get to party on the job. We get to drink champagne, stuff ourselves silly on shrimp and canapes. It, it's just like being a member of our Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Luva, I've got to ask you about that uh, wonderful dress. Oh. You look great. Who are you wearing? Well, Peter, that's very sweet of you. This is uh, from Ms. Emma, a Toronto designer. Mm. I, it just screamed millennium to me. <laughs> Listen, it's I'm gorgeous. glad you're all Thank here. You. As I said, you know, we're going to feature performances from some of our brightest stars, and you guys Absolutely. can help me out with this because we're going to drop in and have a quick look at locations right across the country now, right now. Uh, in less than 90 minutes from now, the Millennium will be arriving on the shores of our wonderful province of Newfoundland. And in St. John's, this is it right here. They're getting ready. There's going to be a wonderful concert performance. Uh, which sounds like it's already starting out there in St. John's, featuring Great Big C and Kim Stockwood. They'll be helping us ring it in in St. John's. And something else you won't want to miss live and in person, I think from, for the first time ever, a tragically hip concert. That's going to be from Toronto's Air Canada Centre. First time on TV? And then that's right. we'll be so that's, heading that, that's the Air Canada Centre in there Toronto. So Ralph's around there somewhere, right? Yeah, that Ralph Ben Murgy's going to be helping us out on that coverage. That was Ben Murgy's white limo we just saw. <laughs> he still has that limo. <laughs> that was part of the deal from that original <laughs> show. So, yeah, yeah, okay. And then what about Manitoba? We're going to go to uh, Winnipeg uh, as they dance into uh, the new year. And there we go now. And the Watchmen will be performing in Winnipeg tonight. Fabulous group, the Watchmen. They'll be uh, performing uh, at the convention center in Winnipeg and will be going live to Winnipeg a number of size, times. Here's Calgary, Luba. Oh, and in Calgary, the spotlight will shine on my favorite country cowboy, Ian Tyson. Just a glimpse of some of the places we'll be going from uh, coast to coast to coast uh, for our Millennium Night celebrations. And those really is just a glimpse. That's four of the places we're gonna go. But uh, overall, we have 29 locations across mm -hmm. the country to drop in and see some of the uh, wonderful performances that will be taking place. Now, plus, we have uh, in concert... Uh, no, unfortunately, we're going to try and get to Victoria there for a moment, but uh, we can't get there now. You can always go oh, back we do have now. Victoria. Oh, yeah. There's Victoria now. Oh, yes. Who can forget that site? Oh, isn't mm -hmm. that beautiful? Mm -hmm. That's the uh, provincial legislature all lit up in, uh, in uh, Victoria Harbor. A view issue. from the Empress. A view from the Empress Hotel. Yeah. And right. no snow. And if you watch long enough, you can see a disgraced premier leaving every <laughs> several years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, it actually will be the paper boys performing in Victoria tonight, as opposed to any former premier. for a group in BC, the disgraced premier. <laughs> <laughs> we probably, you know, What's you better so run far? down and, and brand that name, because yeah. somebody will probably grab it. Plus, we're going to have in concert tonight Paul Brandt. We're coming out of Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Kim Mitchell from Regina. The Grapes of Wrath from the uh, shores of 
Uh, the Pacific Ocean is its washing ashore at Yuklulet on the west coast of Vancouver Island. Blue Rodeo north of Toronto will be uh, here and our world feed. Hey, have we got stars in the world feed too. Barbara Streisand out of Las Vegas, Elton John, the Gypsy Kings, Neil Diamond, plus lots more. It's a huge show, a fitting extravaganza of entertainment and technology. And that guy in Singapore who was doing that awful version of La Vida Loca. <laughs> Did you think that was awful? I thought that was pretty good. You know, we're allowed to repeat that one. <laughs> you gave him the old chicken cat. <laughs> You really have been watching this show. Right? That's oh, great to hear. It's great. It's, we, we it's were, fabulous yeah. to watch. I was late getting here tonight because I was glued to the set at home before 8 o'clock. It's great. And well, there's listen, more to come. There is lots more to come. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the three of you to work uh, to help out in this in the, in the next little while. Great. But talk about hard work, Peter. You have been here. The show's been going for 16 hours, and <laughs> there's another in eight to go. And he's standing. Yeah. And, and, but I think that uh, great, there's it's another nine, nine hours or something, so that's... That's pretty amazing. Congratulations, and we are here to help. Okay, and he's on, on his gonna, third wardrobe change too. Yeah, okay. We're going to be counting on your help in this next hour, so don't go away. Before we get back to you, though, we want to uh, go out live to Jeff Britt in St. John, New Brunswick. Jeff, tell us what's happening out there. Hi, Peter. Yeah, well, St. John says hello to you and to Canada. 2000 today is uh, less than two hours away, and we're at a party that's going to swing its way into the year 2000 with the Johnny Favorite Swing Orchestra and the man himself, Johnny Favorite. How are you feeling tonight, Johnny? Oh, just phenomenal, just phenomenal. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Johnny, what's it feel like to, uh, you know, to sing in, ring in uh, the end of a millennium? Oh, it feels good, feels good. You know, I just ran out what a millennium was in the past couple of, couple of months, but it feels great. Listen to that, that's St. John, New Brunswick. Now look at, we're looking at pictures right now, what St. Johners did earlier today. We're the, we're the first incorporated city in this country, so we had to be first to celebrate the year 2000. They, sh they closed down traffic to the Harbor Bridge, and they allowed people to walk out onto the bridge, and boy, did they walk out. There were people from the west side meeting east siders, the north enders meeting south enders. It was terrific. It gave families a chance to uh, bring their kids out to celebrate the new year. And it was a... Uh... Look it. You don't have to tell me as a, as a St. Johnner that we know how to party. Come on, Johnny. You got a, you got a big night ahead of you. What are you going to play for us as we lead up to the big countdown? Oh, you know, music. But uh, if you're looking for the name of the song, uh, how about a Inagata de Vida, baby? Take it away, Johnny. tonight if you say no then I won't go I put a ring in your finger you put your name on the phone put a candle on the table tonight we'll stay home she said it's funny after all that we've been through that we still talk the way that lovers do it's liberty day it's swinging bells, it's capricious, darling, it's just swell. It's a little cottage belt in the Canadian style. It's fresh orange and rhythms and Hampton and smiles. It's tragic the hip, playing on the hit parade. It's you and me, and we've got it made. She said it's funny after all that we've been through That we still talk the way that our lovers do It's 
celebrity bell It's got precious, mama, it's just well It's a little cottage belt in the Newfie style It's fresh orange and rhythms and Halifax and smiles It's Tommy Hunter playing on the box It's you and me and all we need is what we got and we're going to go back to St. John, New Brunswick, a little later on. Johnny Favorite and his orchestra performing there at the Market Square in St. John, New Brunswick. As they're warming up, they're still uh, just a little less than two hours away from uh, their new millennium. But it... Hello, everybody! Hey, Peter, Sean Majumder in St. John's Look at Harbor. Me. I, this is the most supportive crowd I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Peter, I really, I really can't hear you very well, but uh, if you can hear me, I just want you to know that this is one of the most spectacular places on the planet to be right at this very moment. I don't think you understand the excitement that's going on down here. It's pretty crazy. Everybody is a, a little bit nuts in St. John's Newfoundland, and we're having an awesome, awesome time. Now, uh, and the thing is, it doesn't surprise me at all. Now, there have been a couple of surprises. Have you guys, did you guys expect the whole, like, world to be collapsed at this point because of the Y2K bug? Yeah. Nothing at all! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing at all. Well, there's one surprise that we do have, which is very, very exciting. Did you know that there's a midnight before midnight here? There is a place that's celebrating just before us. That is Hibernia. That's right. You ever wonder where that other half hour was? That's where it is. Hibernia, you guys. So let's all... We got it. You guys got to hang out. We're going to have a little surprise countdown for Hibernia in just a little bit. So make sure you're around for that. All right, you guys, are you going to be around to wish the Hibernia guys a happy new year? <laughs> Hibernia guys? So excellent. Listen, we'll be back here. I'm not leaving because the party's just beginning. I'm going to go on in. See you guys later. Bye, Peter. All right, Sean, thanks very much. An hour and 16 and a half minutes away from the arrival of the year 2000 in Newfoundland. And as Sean says, a little bit earlier, out there on the platform in Hibernia, and if any of you are watching out on Hibernia, we're glad you're with us, and we're looking forward to signaling the fact that you believe you're a half an hour ahead of Newfoundland, so technically, you're the first people in North America to get the new millennium. So that's the anticipation out there. Let's get a sense of the anticipation here in Toronto with this report from Roger Abbott, Luba Goy, and Don Ferguson. Don, you've been checking out the early arrivals at our party here. What's the mood like? We're just getting underway here, Peter. I've got, first of all, I've got to say, this is the official hat of the, uh, of the, uh, the night. It says M-Y-2-K question mark. It's my toque, eh? It's the perfect Canadian hat. I, think that I declare this the, the hat of the new millennium. And I'm right here with uh, Ron. Ron Hunt. Ron Hunt and... Carol Ann. And uh, do, you, do you want to say hello to anybody who you haven't said hello to yet or say Happy New Year to somebody? Well, my daughters, uh, Wendy, Carolyn, Lori, mm -hmm. and my son, John Paul. And they all live in Toronto, I bet. Or close Nearby. to. Nearby. Nearby. Do you have anybody farther away than Toronto? Do you know anybody in uh, Windsor? That, 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 that uh, qualifies. Laurie's in Windsor. Laurie's in Windsor. Do you know anybody else outside of Ontario? Oh, I don't think so. We don't have any family and outside of Ontario at all. See, we're confirming everybody's, everybody's across the country's view of Toronto that we don't know anybody outside of <laughs> right. our immediate area. Well, happy, you want to say Happy New Year to somebody? Yeah, why don't you yell Happy New Year to the camera, then we'll go back to Peter and see what he's up to. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> happy New Year. Peter, back to you. Hey, Don, thanks very much. Love that 2K. Let's go to Luba. Luba, what have you got for us? Well, Peter, um, we're here. We're just having a great time, but we're very concerned about you because you're going to be on the air till six o'clock this morning. And so, we've got this Peter Mansbridge survival kit, the Y2K survival kit, fit filled with all kinds of goodies here. Depends. We've got pretzels. I hope you like gravy because there's some gravy down there, and um, this will keep you going until at least six o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So. Uh, this is just like so exciting and uh, you don't have to worry. We'll take care of you, Peter. Okay, and over to you. All right, Luke, it sounds like a normal day at the CBC cafeteria. Let's go to Roger. What have you got, Roger? If Luba goes out on the street with that bag collecting for you, Peter, it'll, it'll just be like Halloween on New Year's Eve. <laughs> uh, I, I've been uh, going around trying to get uh, an idea of what people's resolutions, you know, uh, New Year's Eve resolutions, we need new millennium resolutions. So my first resolution is I'm not going to use the M word, millennium, uh, after midnight tonight, Eastern uh, Standard Time. 
uh, at least for another thousand years. And then I, I, I spoke to some of the crew here, and not, not to put people down, but some of the resolutions are either too boring for primetime television <laughs> or not ready for television until the kids have gone to bed. But uh, I did find a man whose resolution is actually to start smoking and put on weight in the new year, but I didn't really believe that. So uh, I, I, Rex Murphy's over here. I bet he's got an interesting resolution, so I'll check him out shortly. Back to you, Peter. <laughs> All right. Roger Abbott, Don Ferguson, and Lou Begoy, the Royal Canadian Air Force. 2000 today is going to be back as we count down to midnight, an hour and 13 minutes away from midnight in Newfoundland. But first, we break away for these messages. Pierre Burton, because he has written with such passion about Canadian history, especially social history, and that's what I have an interest in. And I think through that, he's developed in me a sense of pride in my country. As I'm doing my master's here at UPEI, and it involves genetics, I believe that David Suzuki has influenced me the most. He has done outstanding things to educate the public, both in Canadian research and the environmental issues that are so important in today's world. is presented in part by Via Rail Canada. Quality service, pride, integrity. Just some of the things reflected in the faces of our dedicated employees from coast to coast. Is it the adventure, the excitement of train travel that makes many of us become children again? Is it that within us lives a purpose to one day soon rediscover this great country. Are you ready? Garbage, garbage, garbage. It's gonna kill them. Pontiac, Montana. Built for drivers and their families. Lease a Pontiac, Montana from 258 a month to get 1.9% purchase financing. The contestants are the same as others. A shocking undercover investigation that rocked the modeling world. Anything you want, drugs, you name it, they've got it. Fashion Victims, Tuesday on the magazine. Wednesday, an accidental death may hide a family's darkest secrets. Nothing else could have done this. The child injuries show very specific evidence of shaking. But once the parents, I don't want to take any chances. Da Vinci's Inquest, Wednesday at 9 on CBC. We landed at Pier 21 in Halifax and it, almost immediately once we were processed got on a train and ended up in Toronto where a relative of my father's had sponsored us and what was amazing to me growing up and especially now that I'm a parent is how lucky my parents felt and how that sense of luck and gratitude at having survived and being allowed to come to Canada really overwhelmed my experience as a child growing up in Canada. And welcome back. We'll be going live to Charlottetown and Prince Edward Island in a few moments, where Jonathan Torrens is standing by. But first, let's check in once again with our Royal Canadian Air Force party reports. The party is uh, about to begin another hour or so here, but a number of people have been arriving early. And uh, let's go first to Roger Abbott to see what uh, he's learning. Roger. Peter, I'm having the toughest time getting resolutions out of these, these, these people here who claim they're here to party, but they're not making resolutions. And this is breaking my heart because this is the fulfillment of a lifetime fantasy for me to be on the air with a mic reporting to Peter Mansbridge. But unfortunately, I have 
very little to report. I feel like Ted Baxter on a bad night at Mary Tyler Moore. Uh, the only resolution I've been able to, uh, I got somebody getting out of a cab out front. It turns out they were a CBC employee and their only resolution was to get a cab receipt so they could be reimbursed for being here tonight. Peter, I am not giving up. I am going to stay at this, but meanwhile the shrimp are getting warm and I need to have a snack. So back to you, Peter. Listen, you did bring me news there. I didn't know we reimbursed people for cabs. That is news. Let's go to Don Ferguson. Don. All right, Peter, I'm here with a couple of people. I'm here with Karen. Yes, that's right. And Graham. Graham. And now, do you guys have New Year's resolutions? Do you have one you're going to make? Now, this is counts because you're going to tell I all know, of Canada. But this is difficult because I'm such a cautious aquari an Aquarian. I'm afraid to make resolutions because if I do and break them, I hate myself. Well, maybe you should resolve not to make one. That's a good one. I'll resolve not to make a resolution this year. All righty. And what about you, Graham? Uh, I think I'm going to try and res um, resolve to... Uh, see my family more in the year 2000 because I don't see them enough. Where's your family? All over. New York, Kingston, Ottawa. Do you want to say Happy New Year to them now? Yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> Hope you're all watching. Great. Now we've got some other people here. We've got some little people. Come in. Some, some of our uh, viewer. Peter, these people are going to be watching you when they're allowed to stay till 10 o'clock. What's your name? Julian. Julian. Now what's your... Uh, who, is this your brother you're with here? Yeah. All righty. Now you've got a, res a resolution for New Year's? Yeah. I want to be nicer to my brother, Elliot, um, every day. And what about him? I go on TV every day. You want to go on TV every day? <laughs> Do you want to be nicer to your brother? You can say, you can say yes. Yes. Because that, that's the only way it counts. All righty. Well, thank you, guys. May all your resolutions uh, be, not be too much trouble to keep. And have a happy new year. Do you want to say happy new year to anybody? Happy new year. How about you? <laughs> No, it's, it's too early. Peter, Happy back New to you. Happy New Year, Hamilton. <laughs> Peter, back to you. All right. These people are learning why it's uh, not always good to arrive at a party early because they suddenly get a live camera and microphone thrust in their face. But it's great to hear their thoughts. Luva Goy from the Air Force is with us as well. Luva? Now, Peter, a buzz has just rippled through the atrium. Apparently, we have found out that Barbara Streisand, St. Barbara to some of us, is going to be singing the way we were later on in the program. Confirm or deny? Well, it's true. She will. Live Confirm from or Las deny, Vegas. Peter? I'm confirming. Yes, it's true. Confirm? Yes. Confirming. Great. Well, in that case, I hate to part with it, but you're going to get my very own Barbara Streisand, the Broadway album, for your survival kit later. So here it is. I'm giving it up to you. <laughs> Luba Goy, thank you very much. That's a survival okay. kit we're going to need as we work our way through the evening tonight as the time zones of Canada, all six of them, begin to welcome the uh, New Year's and the year 2000, an hour and six minutes away in Newfoundland, an hour and 26 or 36 minutes away now in the rest of Atlantic Canada, including Charlottetown, where Jonathan Torrance has been standing by all day, ready to bring the excitement of PEI to the rest of the nation. Jonathan. Peter, you've changed. I don't know you anymore, man. <laughs> Welcome back to Charlottetown PEI. Not just potatoes and out of Green Gables anymore. There is new danger in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island tonight, and that is that this island might sink from all the excitement. I am so excited here, Peter. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> But that might be because people are stepping on them. All kinds of excitement building, a fantastic band. Big Tilda just left the stage. Now a Cadillac is on the stage. Let's take a look. <laughs> Jonathan Torrance reporting from Charlottetown, where the concerts have been going on all evening and a lot more to go in the uh, next 90 minutes or so before the New Year's Eve bell strikes in Charlottetown and in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. But of course, first up will be Newfoundland, just over an hour away now before the new millennium reaches Newfoundland's shores. Now, earlier in the day, we were checking that train ride that Colleen Jones was taking from Halifax to Truro, a special New Year's Eve train ride. We're going to check in on Colleen right now. 
Orange. Bodkin Orange. We are on board the Millennium Train and having a good time, I must say. This is the park car. I'm doing double duty as the bartender. Trust me, that's going to be good. Don't forget to tip well. Happy Ian James is going to, we're going to hear from his wonderful CD, Occasional Crush. He is an up and coming star, nominated for three different things in the East Coast Music Awards coming up. And you're playing from this candy jar. Take it away, Ian. train ride to be on. Ian Jane's performing on the Via train heading from Halifax to Truro. We'll be dropping in on that train ride again a little later on. An hour away from the millennium arriving on the shores of Newfoundland and we'll be there live of course. But also watching very closely what's happening in Newfoundland are a group of Newfoundlanders who are in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Kathleen Petty's with them. Kathleen. Peter, I have the best gig of anyone, I think, uh, on this Millennium coverage because I get to celebrate uh, New Year's twice. Once uh, at 8.30, uh, Alberta time, because it's, uh, it's the New Year in Newfoundland, and of course at midnight, Alberta time. And uh, there's nothing more quintessentially Canadian than A, having a good party, and B, curling. And therefore, I'm in a curling rink. Now, I have to tell you that the last time I curled, it was a contact sport, and I'm pretty sure that isn't the idea. It hurt. I was covered in bruises, but I found a coach. He was teaching the kids earlier, Peter, so I figured if he can teach them, he can teach me. Chris, come on in, and uh, Chris is going to allow me to get through this with some elegance, so I'm, I'm going to come back, okay. and here's my rock. Okay, you just, you just walk me through it. I'll try to. Let me hold on. Sure. All right. Just squat down. Hold on to the rock. 
You move the rock ahead slowly, move your, your other foot up with it, slide back with the rock, and just kick off, kick off, get the rock, there you go. Oh. <laughs> 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 And there you go, Peter. Still a contact sport, but uh, we're going to be partying uh, all night long. Uh, we're going to be here for the big festivity uh, at 8.30 local time, of course, midnight in Newfoundland. And we look forward to seeing you back here then. Okay, we're looking forward to it. Two pieces of advice. Next time, let the rock go. <laughs> and you, you're supposed to say, hurry hard when you let it go. Okay, got After it, that, thanks. it's easy. Okay. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Kathleen right. Petty in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where a lot of Newfoundlanders there in Fort McMurray looking forward to the... Arrival of the year 2000 in Newfoundland, less than an hour away from now. 2000 Today continues right here on the CBC when we come back. All right, how big is this time castle? Is, uh, because I want to put... It's not a castle, it's a capsule. Oh, it's a capsule? Yeah. Okay, and how long... It's supposed to be about yay big. And how long? A thousand years from now? It should be, yes. Okay, first of all, I want to picture my family, naturally. Then I want my night... Yeah, oh, yeah. 1983 Lincoln Mark VI, the white one with the, the red. I want that one. What about your other Lincolns? Oh, I hope they don't get mad at me, but I can only have one. All right? Then I want the complete set of my Rock'em Sock'ems. Good. Okay, you like that? And they'll see the Rick great plug. Great, the great plug, thank you very much. And then I want, uh, uh, what else did I say? Uh, your trophy. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, thanks for telling me I forgot. Uh, you know, I'm all excited about this. Eh? Go you, quick. All right, okay. I'm going to have my boss. Coach, yeah. Uh, coach the air in the American League, coach the air in the National Hockey League. Like, get those trophies in there, too. I put a referee's whistle, a bottle of Laville Poiffere at Bordeaux, a bottle of beer, a CD from the Tragically Hip and Blue Rodeo Show. I'm a regular guy and one of your coach to show I hung with Tutankhamen. 